we are officially a few days away from the FNAF movie releasing in theaters and on Peacock. For the last eight years, we have been waiting to see what was going to happen in the movie and what it is about. But now, eight years later, we are finally getting that answer. During this year, in 2023, multiple trailers have been shown of the footage of the movie and by far, it looks awesome. So what I wanna do today is go through five different predictions I have plus a bonus prediction of what will happen in this movie. With the footage we have gotten, we can try and predict what will occur and how it'll possibly play out. Of course, these predictions could be 100% wrong, but only time will tell when the film is released. So without further ado, these are my predictions for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So the first prediction I have is that when Hank and the gang arrive at the pizzeria, that will be the opening scene in the movie. In the movie Megan, which was also made by Blumhouse, the first few minutes we of course get the Universal opening as well as the Blumhouse introduction video and other company production segments. In the very first scene of Megan, the audience gets an introduction to the company as well as the main protagonist, and not only that, shares a dark scene that happened during that intro of the film. It can also be said for Halloween Ends. In that film, same as Megan, the Universal intro and Blumhouse intro shows and the opening scene calm at first, but then boom, disaster. And I think that's what's going to happen for the FNAF movie. Now, of course, this will be different for the characters because this is not the main protagonist like Megan and Halloween, but this is an intro to show, okay, yes, these animatronics mean business and they will not hesitate to start these intruders. Of course, like it showed in the trailer, it shows each one of them being taken care of. Carl by the cupcake and Chica, Max being taken care of by Freddy, Hank and Bonnie, and the other member possibly being taken out by Foxy. Honestly, from that statement alone, it's pretty cool. Four thieves and four animatronics. That is going to be a crazy, crazy scene. And then what follows is the title card. I think this is gonna be a really interesting introduction which of course will lead into Mike's story, but it can also show the audience what these animatronics are capable of and how Mike is screwed. Now, I did previously state that the Hank and the gang scene will be the opening, but if it is not the case, then the mall fight scene will be the opening. As mentioned before, for both films, Megan and Halloween, the disaster of the main character happened at the beginning of the movie. For Megan, the car crash, and for Halloween, Corey in that accident. And then this could be the same for Mike. In the mall scene from the trailers, we could see he's beating up someone in the water fountain, which of course will get him fired and get him a job at Freddy Fazbear. Now, right now, it is unknown who this is and why Mike is beating him up, but it could lead to something. Also, to point out before this encounter happens, he is running towards the problem but we will see who and what is causing that situation to happen. But I think of the two opening scenes that we have, this could be more of a possibility that will happen at some point. In a recent TV spot, there is a shot with Mike and Abby being near the animatronics and not even attacking Mike. Now what's happening here is Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica are standing with Mike and Abby and their expressions show that they are not hostile to Mike at all. Now in the TV spot, Abby does say that they only want to play. Now, it is what maybe Abby could have been told by them, or Abby wants Mike to believe that they did not want to harm him on purpose. And like in the games, they could just see him as an empty endoskeleton without its costume. So if that is the case, the animatronics are going to side with him. Also to note, Take a look at Bonnie's hand. His hand is on Abby's back. This is going to be Bonnie and the others knowing that they are going to protect Abby. But have a look at this. Bonnie has his hand on Abby's back. When someone has a hand on your back or anyone's, this is a sign of, I am here for you and I'm going to protect you, which is a sign that they are on their side. So from this TV spot, I think at some point after attacking Mike and Abby, the animatronics will possibly learn that they are good people and will side with them. What this could also mean is that the animatronics are going to protect Abby from Springtrap. In another shot, we see the animatronics look at something and they are angry. And when they are looking at a certain thing, which could be William, they're standing in front of Abby so she doesn't get killed. This could very well possibly happen because we do know that, like I mentioned, they only attack Mike and not Abby, but who knows. This one will possibly be the most likely prediction to happen. In an interview, Matthew Lillard, who plays William in the movie, said that he has a three picture deal for the FNAF films, which will mean we have more to see of Springtrap. Now for right now in this first film, it is just a normal Spring Bonnie costume, 
but of course damage for being worn over time. But if the spring lock scene happens, this suit will give more and more damage, just like in the games, but this time in live action. Now, how will this be pulled off? Well, if we take a look at the age rating, it says PG-13, and then this movie will have language, strong violent content, and this keyword, bloody images. Now, of course, bloody images can mean different things, you know, like Mike getting hurt, Vanessa getting hurt, and maybe some flashbacks, but this could also mean for the spring lock scene. Now, I imagine during the rated edition, which was also the case for Megan, which was also rated PG-13, got a unrated Blu-ray cut. And this will most likely be the same for FNAF, and this will show the rated version at theaters in Peacock, but later on when it gets released to Blu-ray and DVDs, they will get an unrated version. So if this is the case, we might be getting a spring lock scene, but in the theaters, it's going to be less bloody than normal. But who knows? It could also be something else if this is not the case. Now these do seem a bit far-fetched, but it could most likely happen in some way. The missing children incident was one of the key factors which led to the children being possessed. In the trailers, we see Mike in a forest with presumably the four children representing the animatronics. Now, I think we'll be getting a flashback or a mention to this incident. Now, we could say the flashback happened before Mike saw them in the forest or after, but if I had a guess, it would be before. To set the scene up, I think we would have Vanessa talking to Mike on what happened that day, which with Mike knowing that information, he would be hallucinating and seeing them. So the flashback for that could be showing screams in the restaurant in panic, but I don't think it would be shown itself, but kind of in a way to know that this did happen. Now for the flashback for the bite, this could be a quick flashback scene during Mike and Vanessa's conversation, or maybe Mike learning the history of Fazbear Entertainment. For this, it could be very unknown on how this could be brought up, but the bite was another key feature, like with the missing children incident that was featured in the games. For both of these scenarios, it could go either way and we'll see when the time comes. So now for the secret prediction. In a recent interview with both Jason Blum and the director of the film, Emma Tamey, they were doing a panel a few days ago for New York Comic Con. In the interview, Emma did say that there is a secret character that has not been shown in the trailers at all, but I believe it could be the puppet. Now, it could be far-fetched, I'll admit that, but it does seem possible. The puppet is one of the key factors of all of FNAF. If we go back to FNAF 2's secret minigame, Give Life, the puppet is given life to the souls of the children inside of the animatronics. For the movie, it could also work the same way as well. Plus, it would be really cool if we got an insight on how the souls went into the robots. And of course, the give life portion of the story. This could, also as mentioned, lead into the next film as well. If the puppet and Golden Freddy were heavily evolved in the second film, it could definitely give the story of the movie so much depth and overall a big story in the film franchise. So overall, I am really excited to see what this movie has to offer, and I know these predictions might not come true, but who knows, we will see whenever the movie comes out. They might, and they might not. We'll see.